What is up guys, this is me, Johnny Cooper 64 here with another YouTube video, and it's been a year since the Insane Trilogy's release, and people have been begging for a CTR remaster. It's been constantly heard over the past few months, or, you know, over ever since Insane Trilogy, and it's been on, you know, Vicarious Vision's Twitter feed, you know, each time they tweet, they always keep saying CTR remaster, CTR remaster, it's never like a new game, I mean, there are a couple of people that, you know, are asking for a new game, but it's always a CTR remaster, you know what I mean? And Vicarious Visions have seen this, of course, because they've been also, you know, asking about them, you know, answering the people's questions during Q&As or um, interviews, you know, people asking them about CTR, you know, is it going to be remastered? When is it going to happen? They've always never denied it or they never confirmed it, you know, it's always just been there. And over the past few months, there's been, you know, hints about you know, CTR remaster happening like PlayStation Asia. They have been, there was like this little survey that um, went out and you can, I think you can still answer the survey. Um, and the survey was basically all, a lot of PlayStation 4 games um, or PS3 games with PlayStation 4, but there was CTR in there and also Insane Trilogy. Now Insane Trilogy is on the PS4 of course, but CTR isn't, that is a PlayStation 1 game. Isn't it weird that it's in the PlayStation 4 list, you know? And that is when I knew CTR was going to happen. You know, with all this demand of CTR and also next year, it's going to be the 20th anniversary of CTR. It all just made sense that it will be CTR. And there's also that five-year plan, you know, where they're going to be doing crash games, you know, one each year or, you know, at least five crash games to complete the five-year plan, if you know what I mean. And, you know, it, everything just led up to this you know I knew I wanted a new crash game you know I wanted a new platform crash game because I wanted to see how Vicarious Visions will handle the crash formula you know how they will keep them alive because right now it's just remastered to remaster you know there's nothing new you know it's we're still waiting to see if crash is really back you know I mean obviously there's a remasters but that doesn't prove anything you know that only proves that yes people still love the you know the originals and remastered and if I just want to see if the Cage Visions will use the same formula or not. But now, we have been getting the final hint that confirms CTR, forget it, seals the fate. And guess what that is? They've been sending out crash cookies and orange dices to YouTubers, to companies, and to PlayStation employees. And first of all, uh, the crash cookies, they were sent out first. And when I first saw this, I thought, you know, it's just, you know, crash cookies, you know. Because it was just crash with the Santa Claus thing. And then they send out uh, an orange dice, a bunch of them. And, you know, they send it to YouTubers, companies, and stuff like that. And it's exactly like how they did with the spiral eggs. They send out to companies and people. And it's the way they confirmed the Spiral Reignited trilogy. And they did the exact same formula this time to Carrie's Visions. They did with an orange card instead of a purple card and an orange object instead of a purple object. The orange dice says sliding into the game awards on 12 out of 6 anonymous and you can see the orange dices right here and sliding you know how crash slides into it, it you know the, the orange dices you only use those for cars and it's orange and one of them who got sent out they said that activision sent them an email saying what is your um address so they can confirm where they they're going to be delivering the thing and you know activision orange dices oh my god that is crash bandicoot and that is a racing game that it confirms everything not only that they also send it to the guy who also got this um for spyro you know the spiral purple eggs you know they send it to ign and now they send it to the same company except this time with the orange dices dudes and yeah while i do not fully agree with a ctr remaster at least it's better than something you know but i hope for the love of god this is the final remaster that they've ever made because if they keep doing this they're literally just going to kill the franchise because it's just going to be remaster after remaster is just going to keep milking after milking and the franchise is going to be dead just like how it began with so that's why they need to make a new game after this but here's another thing is that we don't know if this is actually going to be a remaster or not you know because it could be a Kind of like Mario Kart 8 where they introduced, um, well, they ha well they included some of the old tracks remastered from the ground up with some a few additions and they also included new tracks, tons of new tracks. And I hope they do that for CTR because CTR is a pretty small game to be honest. You know, it has a story mode, it has the tracks and everything, but it's not big enough, you know what I mean? 
and supposedly they've been working on this game for like 14, 17 months, you know, Vicarious Visions. So it's gotta be, there's gotta be a tons of new tracks in there, you know. It's not just gotta be a remaster, it's gotta be at least like a remake, a full-blown remake or at least a brand new Crash Racing game. And I hope it is a brand new Crash Racing game with all the old tracks included, you know. Um, spice up things, you know, a lot, you know. Add a nut, tons of new things. Just do not bring the original remaster from the ground up and that's all. No, I want tons of new crap in there. Because if they don't do that, it's probably just going to fail, to be honest. Because Mario Kart has evolved over the years. And, you know, they're just Mario. Nintendo's just not going to say, um, okay, we're going to be remastering Mario Kart 64 from the ground up. Um, obviously, Mario Kart 8 is already better than that. You know, because it's improved, and that's what CTR needs to do. Even if it's, you know, remastered, and you know, it, it needs to add tons of new stuff. You know, it just can't be the original, and that's all. That's not what I want. You know, that's just my thoughts on this. And hopefully, it's a, just a brand new racing game that is going to be there. So now, where is this all going to be led up? You know, where is this going to be announced? Well, as you can see in the orange thingy, it's going to be announced at the Game Awards. Now, for those who don't know what the Game Awards is, it's where they announce awards for games. Like, Game of the Year, you know, they're going to be announcing it there, which I hope to God it's God of War. And they're also, this year, they're going to be introducing brand new games or revealing trailers from other, you know, games like um, Kingdom Hearts, I believe, or Last of Us. I don't know, but... They're going to be introducing new games. Oh yeah, they're going to be announcing a the Avengers project. Except it's not going to be announced because it was already announced. But they're going to be releasing like a trailer with the Russo brothers. Tons of celebrities and tons of directors are going to be there, which is going to be nice. And Activision is going to be there. Activision is going to be there, of course, to announce the CTR. Sean Layden's also there. So this is where they're going to be announcing the CTR remaster, remake, or brand new racing game. And, you know, since Sean Layden is there, he's possibly going to be announcing the game in there, which is fantastic because, it, you know, brings me nostalgia back when the first, um, when Sean Layden first revealed Crash Bandicoot for the first time, um, you know, to return in back in 2016, you know, which is going to be amazing. You know, I thought they were going to keep this a surprise, you know, not send any of this because it would have been better if they didn't send any of this crap and they just announce it, you know, by surprise, you know, keep us all in shock. But I mean... It don't, don't matter, you know, it's gonna happen, you know, I'm glad it's happening, and yeah, for those who haven't, vote for the Game Awards right now, it's going to be tomorrow, you know, tomorrow, or by today, when you see this video, which is going to be, you know, absolutely the best, I'm going to be watching this, I'll probably stream it, I'm not quite sure, but, goddamn, Crash Team Racing confirmed, finally, after months and months, Hopefully it's a brand new game though, um, and yeah, I'll be making a video once it comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.